Hey everybody, it's Jeff Peters with Rose Preservation Group. We're out here at a foreclosed property. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install polycarbonate on a foreclosed property. Uh, this window was reported broken, came, took it out. We're going to go ahead and get our measurements and show you guys what you need. Our backing, a piece of that comes eight foot long. There's our polycarbonate. We already went ahead and made our measurements and cut our piece here that we're going to use. In order to cut that, you guys are going to need a really fine tooth blade. Can't use your standard blade. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make our measurements and get our lag bolts and everything installed. Alright, we got our proper measurements made for our holes to install our lag bolts. You're going to want to drill your holes here. Make sure they line up properly. Peel off the protective backing here after you've already drilled so you don't scratch up your material. All right, now we're gonna go ahead back and show you guys how to install this. All right, we went ahead and got everything drilled out. We're gonna get it installed, get the lag bolts in now. Okay, bolts are in. I'll hold it up in place. Washers. Nuts here. It takes a while to get these nuts on sometimes. What we're using here is two 10 inch lag bolts. And this is your basic washer and nut. You're making your measurements, you want to make sure you got plenty of clearance for the backing or bracing to hold securely, nice and tight. Alright, now and the reason we're installing the polycarbonate instead of plywood, in Ohio it's actually now required, along with a few other states. Uh, the durability of it is 100 times stronger than plywood. Uh, they use this in hurricanes. You really can't break through it, can't crack it, won't splinter. Uh, plus, when you're going into the properties, and as a property management company, the property preservation company, it's safer for us to be able to see into the properties, kind of know what we're expecting. Also, safer for law enforcement when they get cost of the job or to a house. Alright, this is almost in. We're going to go ahead and tighten these up real nice just to make sure they don't move. Good and secure. You want to get it as tight as possible. Time to get these all tightened down. What Sean's doing on the other side is pressing on the lag bolts the way I get this. as tight as it can go. Completely installed, nice and secure. You can hit on this thing with a hammer, sludge hammer. It won't bend, break, move, budge. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you like my videos, uh, like, subscribe, share. Appreciate it, and have a good day.